sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, signs, and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like swimwear. I have to remind people I have a doppelganger, a copycat. I want to be me, but try to be better than me. An English professor, a WhatsApp bandit, a voodoo high priest, all floating through the comment section, promising to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99. All you got to do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. If you have to bend somebody's will for them to be with you or for you to be with them, they definitely don't need you and you don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. Parts may resonate with you, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. Interesting that this Taurus energy was in the last reading that I did, okay? All the information that you need regarding me or surrounding this reading, including a website where you can copy and paste that link into a uh, browser and receive a free birth chart from a reputable site, no affiliation to me. Again, I'm not affiliated with any secret society, any celebrity, any organization, period, point blank. No celebrities, none of that. It's just me, my ancestors, okay? And to quote Beyonce, it's just me, myself, and I. That's all I got in the end. That's what I found out. <laughs> Very interesting emails I receive, you all. And again, I do appreciate some of y'all for taking the time out for to, to reach out to me because right now I'm in a deferco. I will not lie to you because I recognize the signs of the time. I recognize the signs of the time, okay? And I kept hearing all uh, throughout the day, do not believe your eyes. Do not believe your eyes, right? Somebody could be in a campfire. Somebody could be trying to destroy evidence. Somebody could be transmuting energy. Some of you, you have been doing return to senders, okay? If this is not you, this is someone that is trying to take back. Take back. Back, back. No, take back. <laughs> Whatever they put out into the universe, it's not working. 33 is here. This is about your spiritual growth, your ascension. Somebody could be 33, you could be in the cycle for 33 years or six years, okay? Keep that in mind, but master numbers, you do not break down, all right? It is what it is, but six is significant for somebody, okay? What I'm getting is this is balance being restored for something that happened in the past. You all have my pajamas on, so if it looked like I had on what I had on the day before, I definitely do, okay? I'm not in the energy of people pleasing at this time. It is what it is, right? I do hear that someone is in necromancy, into necrom um, necromancy. A Ouija board is significant. If not a Ouija board, some sort of divination tool, okay? There's some sort of ailment that is going on behind that past, behind some sort of past energy that someone sent out. Could have been during the full moon, new moon, or whatever. Heavy manipulation in the last week or two, okay? Also, because these people are so delusional and trapped in a different paradigm, they're not realizing the signs of the time. They're not paying attention to the omens. Trust and believe that a lot of this uh, natural disasters that we are having, having is happening in the environment of these people. Something is being illuminated about somebody's selfish choices, three or more individuals. We got a lot of fire energy in this reading, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. One of the um, readings, well, one of the emails that stood out to me this afternoon when I was just, you know, going through. I might not respond, but I do go through them, right? Someone asked me <laughs> to elaborate on getting the fuck. When you have been through a lot of experiences such as I, and you have spent the majority of your life trying to people please it's easy to do that hold on y'all let's go on so before i was so rudely interrupted my son will be doing his own thing until he hear me turn this camera on he selfishly believes that i'm supposed to spend all my time on him it's typical 
of children, right? I have to break him out of that, y'all. Um, when you have been through experiences such as I, when you work so hard to make everyone in your environment happy, it creates um, an imbalance within you. And I know we've been taught, you know, we're supposed to do everything for the people around us. However, the universe does not recognize that as to be true. That is something that people have conjured up. I mean, you know, morals and values is a great thing to have. <clears throat> However, it's also about social structure and domination and control, right? Oh, look at this. We're definitely speaking about the matriarch. We, we're talking about somebody's roots, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, strong Cancer energy. This is either about your intuition. If you are a male, this is about your feminine energy. Okay, you could be giving a lot to someone in your past. Okay. This is surrounding finances. This is surrounding your love life. This could be a partnership. But what I was going to tell you is uh, when you live long enough, such as I, you will notice that the people that you do so much for, they tend to not appreciate it if they're in karmic energy. Hold on, y'all. That was rude, Kobe. You know, the old folks used to say, Bear to, spare the rod. And spoil the child. Some that might trigger a lot of people because I know we have these movements, right? However, uh, when you are a generational curse breaker, when you are a chosen one, a leg one, things is a little bit different. Okay, the dynamics surrounding your family situation is a little bit different. Usually, a lot of times, elects, thrones, chosen people that fall under that caliber, they are born, are birthed, karmic individuals. Okay, and what I mean by birth is you give birth to the father's sins, the mother's sins, and things of that sort. See, my son gonna make it very difficult for me to do this reading, so hold on, y'all. Okay, close that door. That are in um, demonic type of energy comes in all shapes, forms, uh, sizes, right? So I say that to say people pleasing usually will leave you bitter um, and not completing the cycle, not doing what you were called here to do. Now, fortunately, I've lived long enough to know the repercussions of people pleasing. You create a lot of enemies when you say no. We have Will of Fortune, Sagittarius uh, energy. This was a faded situation. Someone needed to take accountability or responsibility. This person could be praying for forgiveness. All right. This person wasn't paying attention to the synchronicities. You could have you could have Sagittarius or Pisces in your chart, or this could be someone in your environment. Okay. Keep in mind, parts of this reading may resonate with you, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. This could be somebody in your environment, an ex, a coworker, a boss, a past over loved one, a sister, an aunt, a mother, a father, a child. You get the gist. Okay. Some of you, you could have Taurus in your south node, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Sagittarius, even. Okay. So this person is not paying attention. To the omens here. Somebody could be uh, doing this solely for financial gains. Okay. Somebody's belief system is stuck. Stuck is, is outdated. You could have been in this cycle for seven years. Something could have been taking place for seven months. I'm also getting there's something big happening by this up and coming Sagittarius. Uh, season. Now, keep in mind, all of us are on different paradigms. Some of us have completed this lesson. Some of us still have it to have it to learn. OK, with the two of wands, I feel like either you or somebody in your environment is waiting for some sort of results after they did some sort of incantation or spell work in the past. Now, they could have paid to have someone do this, but this could also be somebody using uh, money rituals, uh, um, alter spells or quick get quick get rich quick schemes or something like that. So somebody did some sort of spell work in the past. Now, 
popular um contrary to popular belief a lot of people feel like you know when they don't really know the laws of the universe they start just start picking up stuff and just doing whatever oh we can manifest with using candle magic and we can get money and this and that the problem with that is you haven't completed any of your past lessons so you're just creating more karma the money has to come from somewhere and these in, in these particular individuals don't see that they don't get it they don't care so even though they may have received some sort of of money in the past doing this they weren't paying attention to the omen and what i feel like the omen is they may have received um a substantial amount of income okay however they had more debt more karma that they accumulated and that's being illuminated to somebody why is omen here yeah somebody's in some into some get rich quick look at that now, didn't I just say they accumulated debt? More karma? This person is grieving now. We're talking about the five of coins. This is lack. This is poverty consciousness. This is debt. Okay? They're, they're, they're watching their money just, just wash away. Possibly literally. With the world card being here, there's a cycle complete. This person can no longer use candle magic to get any resources. We have temperance here. This is earth angel energy. This is also an indication that somebody needs to get balance here. I feel like this person is going from pillar to post. That could be significant um, to someone going from one person to another, from one person to another, either doing some energy work, okay, or, you know, this could be a reader also. This person wasn't paying attention. This is a bad investment with the seven Something of Something is delayed for you or whoever this individual is. The camera went off. So this is somebody definitely doing some sort of spell work to stop or block a message from coming out. This is about ascension. Somebody wants uh, forgiveness here with the Knight of Cups. Strong water sign energy. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Some of you, you may have a younger Sagittarius that's in your family. Or this could be someone that you have a family with. Okay, depending on how old you are. Somebody didn't have faith in what you had to offer. This person may want to come in and offer some sort of apology is also what I'm getting. I'm hearing this person is very cocky. Okay. Very cocky. This person is feeling overwhelmed by the, the load that they have to carry. Six of Cups. This person could be thinking about you heavily with this uh, clarifying the water element. This is somebody from your past. If this is not somebody that you have a child with or a child, this is somebody that uh, is childish. Okay. They may feel like they missed out on the opportunity. Oh, look at this. It turned around in my lap, y'all. <laughs> they feel like they missed out on the opportunity with death in reverse. This person is stuck. They're going to be stuck. Their finances is stuck. If you're around this person, your finances is going to be stuck. Somebody keeps doing something repetitively, expecting a different result. This is insanity, if you ask me. You could have a child wanting to return home. Somebody could be returning back to some sort of faith as well is also what I'm getting. King of Cups, this person wants you to have faith in them. For some of you, you could be a male and this is your child. This could be an adult child that's a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Okay? You could also be a public figure. Some of you, again, somebody may be going to church. This could be about a pastor, a priest, or something like that. This is a public figure. This is somebody that you go to and they answer all your questions. This is the middleman. <laughs> could be somebody's wife that may be going to this middleman also but i do feel like the queen of coins is you being stable whoever you are if you are a male <clears throat> you could be looking at somebody that's stable wanting to give them an offer here feeling in some sort of regret because you didn't offer yeah you didn't offer something when you had the chance i feel like if this is you you realize that you were in some sort of childish and uh, manipulative energy you possibly did not go through some sort of ascension, okay? I'm, I'm hearing you You were deep in your emotions. You needed to master your emotions here. With the Ace of Cups being here, 
Somebody has an offer. We have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> somebody needs to cut out an individual, possibly somebody that they have a child with or somebody that was pretending to have a child. This is also a new opportunity for you. If you could, there, yeah, here we go. We had the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> the only thing we don't see is the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody need to cut out some childish activity, leading with the phallic, okay? All about sex, all about sex. This is somebody that uses the magic stick to get whatever they want. This is also somebody that was trying to manipulate your root chakra, possibly getting you to think about sex all the time. Somebody wants you to focus on them for financial gain. Again, this could be somebody's shout. Two of Cups. There's a choice here. Or there was a choice in the past and this person is regretful after going through uh, a period where they had to go in and reflect. This person could be seeking, seeking counsel as well. This could also be somebody uh, reflecting on a marriage. Okay. Coming to some sort of realization with the sun card here that caused some sort of tower moment. Taurus, why is this here? Somebody could be traveling. Moving from one location to another. You could be saving your finances or working on your finances. For some of you, once you travel, your finances is going to improve with the full car here. Somebody's tripping. If they're thinking that you're going to uh, allow this person in, you've been through too much. This person could have paid somebody to do some sort of spell work. That spell work could be fraud as well. Somebody feels like they didn't put enough work in in the situation. Not in trying to manifest you. This person was tripping. They weren't paying attention to where they were going. They was focusing on finances here. They was trying to save something that the creator was trying to tear down. Just simple and plain. Somebody feels stuck. They're stuck waiting on something that's not going to come. Seven of Swords. This is betrayal. Somebody may have been in the process of some long divorce, okay? Or this is just somebody being dishonest. Now, this dishonest, dishonesty could be somebody holding back emotions with the King of Cups here. This person realized that you are a soulmate, or you realized that this person was a soulmate. This person feels like home. For some of you, there's deception surrounding someone you have a child with or home with. Yeah, fights, petty arguments. Betrayal. If this is a partnership, a marriage, there's nothing but constant fighting because you're supposed to separate. Now, back to what I was saying. Yeah, judgment. Some of you are so worried about what other people are going to think instead of what the creator is uh, telling you to do. is for a reason. We all have to bear our own cross, right? We talk about it a lot. We love to say we can give it to give it to Christ and Christ and Christ. yeah, it's the reason why they call Christ the scapegoat. Yahshua, Yah, Yah, Yahweh, whatever you call it, Ra. Yeah, we love the scapegoat, scapegoat people. So guess what? You the scapegoat now. Will of Fortune, why is this here? Yeah, walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. Will of Fortune, why is this here? We got a lot of tourist energy. Somebody's trying to maintain balance here, structure. This is why somebody's doing, uh, somebody could be um, asthmatic or have bronchitis or something. <clears throat> it could also be somebody in a fire. Not able to manifest, stuck in a toxic cycle. Yeah, because you're going you gonna to learn today. All right, so this person was possibly praying to get out of a situation. I feel like something was handed to this person, but this person didn't want to make a choice. See, when you get tempted by the devil, right? The devil, you pray to God. You ask God to bring me a way out, right? That person will come. But it, 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 for, some, for some of you, that person ain't, two of swords, that person ain't wrapped in the box that you, I mean, of course you were, before you met this tempting temptress, whether if it's a male or a female, that individual is perfect for you. 
you prayed for them, they prayed for you or how, whatever the story may be. But at the same time, the devil came and tapped you on the shoulder and said, but look at this. Look at this wrapped in a beautifully wrapped ribbon, but it's nothing but diarrhea. Somebody like toast and toddler. I don't know what that was about, but that's what I, that's the thought that came to my mind when I said that. But it was a beautifully wrapped diarrhea, sugar coated shit, right? Something to keep you stuck, right? And somebody definitely got stuck because they weren't paying attention to their spiritual partnership with 777 here in the reverse. Why is the will of, mm, that was quick, change your mindset. You, some of you, you know, this is my divine masculine, divine feminine, uh, soulmate couple car. It's in reverse. So this person needed to change their mindset. They were possibly with somebody that had a lot of karma. This person could have been doing spell work or some sort of manipulation to this person. Okay. Could be sex or whatever. This person lacked faith in the situation. They lack faith. You could be an Aries. If you're not an Aries or they are Aries, this person was deep in thought. This person could also be a Capricorn. This person wasn't, uh, you know, whoever this is, they were unable to manifest because they were calling on lower vibrational energies. Okay. This is my L card, deity card. But this is, yeah. I feel like you're the angelic being in this situation. Some of you, you possibly didn't know that because you were stuck in a karmic loop as well. All right. And hell, look how that just comes out. So somebody needs to release this Jezebel spirit, the spirit of grief and destruction within. This person is praying that you don't find out that they're sleeping with a family member of yours or theirs. Somebody that was power hungry, struggle. This could also be someone sleeping with, if they are married, there could be a daughter, half daughter or something like that. Mm -hmm. Our brother that they're sleeping with. They ended up having a baby with this person. Or at least that, that's, that's what they were told with the full of shiznit being here. See, they were sleeping with, I'm hearing mother and daughter. Yeah, mother and daughter. So take it how it resonates. Could be cousin and cousin or sister and cousin. Take it how it resonates. Of course, that's not for everyone. For some of you, this person could be a product of incest. Okay? Or they're worried about you finding out that they called on lower vibrational energies. Okay? They had some sort of succubus energy possibly placed on them as a child. Take it how it resonates. And here we have it. Succubus energy. So either this succubus energy is waiting for something that's not going to manifest. This could also be somebody lying to cause the ending. This person feels stuck. They could be they could feel stuck with this succubus energy. The four queens in reverse. Oh, <clears throat> so somebody could be a Scorpio in this situation. This could be if you if you are divine masculine or a masculine watching this, this could be your brother. Um, or you could be the brother of a masculine energy that's stuck here. Somebody could be sleeping with somebody's wife or baby's mother. Somebody may find out that their uncle or brother or somebody that they grew up with is really the father of somebody's child is what I'm getting. A Taurus is involved, most definitely. Something could have happened in Taurus season. Yeah, somebody's going to find out that somebody's uh, brother is the father of their child. The South is significant, a Scorpio is significant, and the Taurus is significant. Five of coins. Why is this here, please? So somebody was getting rich quick with whatever deity that they were calling on, but it was a trap. This person is stuck in a time, a time loop, a black hole, or something like that. 
This poor, this person feels void and empty. This is definitely lack. We have stained glass. Time to get honest about your perception of a situation. So somebody was supposed to walk away from this individual here. Somebody that they feel like God answered their prayers. But see, the thing is, they were so focused on the outside appearance, what this person looked like. They weren't focused on the heart, the core of this individual. So they could have ate a cup shoe, walked away from you. <laughs> and interesting how that's in the up right now, right? So for some of you, your divine counterpart has walked away from a situation. But it's after you give after you give you given up. For some of you, you have two people, and I'm I'm just I'm completely tired of it. You have your false flame, somebody that you were waiting on that was attached to a succubus energy, but you also have your divine counterpart whether if it's a twin or a higher level soulmate they're experiencing the same thing and, and again you're going to go through a period if some of you end up together where when you start talking to one another you're going to realize that you were indeed mirroring each other now i want to say this i don't know what other people's perception of mirroring is mirroring is something that you can't control it's not something that um you set out to do. This is the way you learn lessons. Now, it might not be word for word or situation for situation being exactly the same. However, the lesson you learn is the same. If you get what I'm saying. Life is too short to wait. This person is worried about you hooking up with somebody that's your equal. This karmic person, this person that you held on for so long. For seven years, for some of you. 33 is significant. Somebody's 33. That could be a number or address or something, but that's also an ascended master number. It's speaking about Christ consciousness, Kundalini awakening. We have Cancer Energy, Archangel Muriel, Second Spear. You may have called on divine assistance. Somebody wasn't trusting their intuition. So you cycled this out. I feel like you walked away from a situation. But again, your divine counterpart could be walking away from a situation as well. Now, for some of you, your soul, your your false flame, they're being they're either walking away from somebody or the person that they chose over you walked away from them because the cycle is complete here. This person may want to come back and offer you some sort of apology. I'm hearing my condolences. This person may come in after you, uh, uh, a funeral or something. Somebody could have passed away. Someone from your past. You may have prophesied something about an ending in this uh, person's life. They may not have believed you. I'm hearing prophetic words. Some of you, you may have sent a text to this person. Okay. I feel like this person was scared of your gifts. I'm, I'm hearing you knew too much with Mercury. This person's all in their thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Somebody could be a Gemini, a Virgo. You could also be a writer. Somebody could be trying to get rid of some evidence. We got Aquarius. Something could have happened in Aquarius seasons, but this is about the future. Prophesizing of the future. So somebody is withholding some sort of information. You could be thinking about this person a lot. Six of Cups. Why is this? Are they thinking about you? Sagittarius energy. Yeah, we got the burning bush. Somebody wasn't paying attention to the synchronicities. We got fire and water. You know, that's alchemy here. Somebody was full of shit. Somebody was either... I'm hearing perpetrating a fraud. Somebody was pretending to be angelic, pretending to be Christ-like or a virtuous woman. I don't know why I heard that. But that's what they thought this person was. I don't know. They they put up a good front. Somebody could be wearing red lipstick. I don't know why that came up. Or this person wears red lipstick or they like red. Red nails or something. Somebody's hoping that you don't find out. Now, this uh, child's mother could be a cancer. 
or you could be a cancer but also pisces or scorpio is significant somebody's hoping that you don't find out about someone that they have a family with refusing the truth and our destined path for some of you because again this is happening in your divine counterpart life somebody's hoping that you don't find out that they father if you're a male that you, they fought like a brother or uh, if it's not an actual brother it's somebody you grew up with somebody that you told all your business to this is also somebody that was in secret competition with you if you spend some time in jail is what i'm getting okay they may have been doing a sneaky linking some of you, these people may have gotten money together. If this person is a prostitute, I, I'm, I don't know. Whatever you're thinking is happening. Somebody doesn't know if you know. You may have backed away from people, places, and things. Some of you, you stop. If you're a male, you stop sleeping with somebody. <laughs> I don't know why I heard sick, 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 sick. <laughs> Our sick knit <laughs> old school. I don't know. Something could be happening by by uh, Christmas. Yeah, something could be happening. Sagittarius season. We got the day of affliction. Ooh we. Mm mm mm. Not all who wonders are lost. Embrace chaos. Somebody wants to come in and give you some sick knit. <laughs> Wait. We got a vendetta, a family feud over a murder, or the murderer's family, 10 years or more, confrontation, action, war. Somebody won war with you over the day. They going to fight for it. The, they going to go to jail for the, hey, end up in hell for the, oh, we, ooh, yeah, ooh, we. Uh, uh, no, sir, no, ma'am. Uh, got the jiggle. <laughs> ooh, we. Child, you would think that this person would stop doing candle magic because shit, everybody dropping like flies around their ass. What the hell? Why is the day of affliction here? This is my elect one. So you already know. You you already know. You already know. You could be in this King of Cups energy where you didn't took on the energy of this person. You like I <laughs> mm -mm. I love you, but uh no so no ma'am. Whether if you male or female, because we got somebody, baby mama, that's lying and alibying. They lying, bro. They lying, sis. This person lied or participated in the lie to cover up a lie. They was all around the world projecting distorted energy, starting rumors and, and, and jealous. And, you know, rumors started by jealous people. And it's cocky. They may even chew a lot of bubble gum. <laughs> this is a setup artist is what I heard. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Cricket. <laughs> Cricket. <laughs> Person is stressed out. They shit. Yeah, they like shoot. They, hey, this one to go in reverse. They somebody ain't getting no more on that that laffy taffy. No more of the slowing doing. No more of the magic stick. <laughs> Being drained by their own energy. Look at that incubus. Is it slipped up and said something? Loose lips sink ships. <laughs> slipped up and said nothing. They be talking too much. You know what I'm saying? They be talking too much. We got labels. Somebody wanted to be divine feminine. <laughs> by default, by giving you a baby. Somebody say, I ain't my baby. Oh, we. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to have to tell y'all about getting them, 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 them home kits, them DNA kits that don't know what the hell you doing. You better go to the officials and have that stuff done. But some of y'all, y'all know exactly because you following your into, you following your intuition. You didn't swab everything in your vicinity, <laughs> baby ass, the lips, mouth, throat, ears, nose. 
You swabbing everything. I, I, I feel it. Shit, cause you like that, that, that baby don't look, that look like my brother baby. Hey, this person didn't care. They just wanted a little bit of, they just wanted that blood. See, they don't get it. Elect ones, you, you, you born into karmic families. And if you are not awakened when you create a family, you give birth to your enemy sometimes. That's not for everybody, but it's definitely it's for some of y'all. For some of you, you like, man, either come on, man, shit. You better ask some of the ones that's hiding up in the clouds, like, what, what going on today? <laughs> they they gonna they gonna jump down in the comment section and be like, man. I usually don't say nothing. <laughs> After they didn't got him woo whopped upside the head by tree chem five five times. They like, but see that, you know, at least you learn. And again, I'm not saying this is everybody's situation. What I am saying is that if you elect one, it's a great possibility. <laughs> and it's not funny, but it is funny, right? Because, like I say, some things you gotta learn the hard way. Couldn't nobody tell me nothing about my family. Still can't. But I know when the get the somebody got a twin or a brother or sister. But what I'm getting is this person wanted to be a divine feminine, divine masculine. This person may have wanted you to fight for them <clears throat> with this karmic individual that they have a child with. Right. They held back emotions from you because, again, they weren't woke. They got all this karmic energy around them. They sickly believe that this baby mama love them because they willing to go to hell for them. They don't realize that it's an entity attachment on this person that they don't really know what love is. Because if you love somebody, you let them you let them go. Right. Y'all know the saying. Oh. Somebody sleeping with somebody cuz and they fighting a protection tool. Somebody done went and got their license. If they ain't went and got their license, they just went and got something. <laughs> it's just not funny, y'all, but I'm just saying. You ain't I mean why L listen, why do all that when you could just move? If you dealing with ego I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory with all these cards here. We got incest card. We got the succubus card. We got the deities card. We got several references to family with cancer being here, the fourth house being here. We got death in reverse. Somebody not want, somebody don't want something to end. Somebody wants somebody to be stuck. Stuck with somebody in the past or in the past belief system. Come on, man. Then you got somebody wanting you to fight. Because that's all they know is fighting. Man, don't nobody got time. I don't care how much love you got. Man. When you have somebody sneak up behind you and whoop you a couple of times. Hit you with the jab, jab, hook. And you be like, I, 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 I love you. And then that song, come on, looking for love in all the wrong places, looking for love. <laughs> this what family look like. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. I'm just trying to tell you. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody need to cut out their baby mama, baby daddy. I mean, I'm just telling you. Now, this person could be working. Uh, if you have mutual children together, it could be somebody, mom, baby mama, baby daddy, wife, husband. That's a part of this. Because, again, when you elect, when you chosen, okay, everybody want to be a divine feminine, divine masculine until it's time to cut off people that no longer serve you. Until it's time to walk them, walk in the 40 days and 40 nights and get all them damn spell work. Uh, uh, hit 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 on you <laughs> that should don't be be pretty everybody want to be a divine feminine divine masculine till you you're sitting there and you're dick in the dirt you know you ain't got nobody to turn to because everybody around you a karmic it look pretty huh when you're able to get, wear all them pretty wigs and 
and sit in it. That's what everybody think it is. It's sugar coated shit. Nah, man, it's it's ugly. Like my damn nails. Sometimes you just gotta just, just wear your pajamas. I'm just I'm just saying. You know? What can I say? Why is the fool car here before I get up out of here? Because I know this is... <laughs> Ooh, somebody's in uh, mourning and grief. Uh, somebody made it. Some coming to an end. It's not a physical end because we got a funeral here. <sighs> Something could happen at a church. Somebody could be trying to manifest a partnership. We got supreme victory over masculinity. Now, either this person that mastered them... them the generational curses and then took control of their penis after making some sort of foolish mistake that caused them. You know, usually that's how men learn. <laughs> it don't really hurt them until they hit hit their pockets or their car. Either or, pockets or car, and then you might get you might get a man to teach. <laughs> You're more than beautiful, but beauty's only skin deep, right? But ugly. It's to the bone. And this is ugly. This is ugly. This is, this is ugly. This butt ugly. This baboon red ass ugly. Is you talking to a friend or a foe? Because, uh, I mean, you know. You're talking, but I don't think they're hearing you or you're not hearing something clearly. I'm hearing go to God. This is a lesson. Whoop. Somebody about to be in a fight. Gemini with their cousin. Gemini and Tori about to fight. Did you fight at a funeral? I'm just trying to tell you all some ratchet ass. This is what I'm saying. This is why, I, you know, I go into her mode. I really don't care because I ain't trying to be fighting at no funeral, at no church. I ain't trying to do none of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody fighting? Man, if y'all out here fighting at the church house, and you don't know that that's karma, come on, man. Are you, this is a lesson. This is a lesson. Somebody embarrasses. Somebody is embarrassing. Why is cousin here? I just got to get one more before I just start. Because <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Oh! Why did Gemini car come out again? We know this is Gemini. I mean, the, the spirits, the saints, the, the archangels, the fallen angels, they telling. They telling on somebody. Is this my cousin shit? Cause I got a lot of Gemini's in my cousin and my family shit. We got we got a pimp in a hole in the situation and it's a pimp down. Pimp in distress. Ooh, the protagonist in the story. This is a lead character or main player in the plot. Creating a storyline. The storyline is not, you know, a storyline is something that's fictitious. Child. It, it brings them pleasure. <laughs> Your pain brings them pleasure. You better control that. Anything else? Mm, mm, mm. We got lovers and friends. Somebody trying to manifest. Somebody want to fight you. Child. Do they, do do my collective even know this? Well, for some of you, you do know because it's a cousin. Of yours are theirs. Ooh, we this is this is just ratchet. I mean, I'm hearing what's that, Glorilla? <laughs> hanging out the garden with my ratchet, ass, hanging out the window with my ratchet ass. <laughs> Why the fuck you lying? Tell me. Let me find out. Somebody that confronted somebody at a wedding or a church, and it then went down. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Some of y'all might be bold enough to leave it in the comments. Some of y'all just may be bold enough to, to do that. But this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Look at this. Some sort of truth came out at a wedding, a church, a funeral. Somebody confronted somebody over some plot. Ooh, shit. And I said plot. Burial plot. Ooh, wee. Ooh, is somebody lying about I'm telling somebody lying. Somebody could have said they had a child and the child passed away. Ooh, we. Ooh, we. This is just a mess, honey. Your presence is needed to restore balance and harmony. Yeah, divine feminine. 
<laughs> your presence is needed. So this person was trying to get rid of you, boo. This uh, flim flam. This uh, one hit a quitter. This tip drill. Was trying doing some movement. Ooh wee. My hair hurt, deuces. <laughs>